guys, it is Louisa and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a 2017 favourites. Now I've never done one of these videos, I didn't actually manage to do it last year. I did want to, but I just never got around to doing it. And I thought it was a really good idea to see um, some of the products which I've been loving throughout 2017. Honestly, every single one of these products I really recommend to you guys and I really recommend you go and pick them up because most of them are relatively affordable. Pretty much all of them I bought with my own money or I've been gifted them for like birthdays and Christmases. Yeah, I really do hope that you enjoy the video. Give it a massive thumbs up if you do. And I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by my birthday, which is the 20th of January. So it would, be, it would mean the absolute world if we could make that happen. So with that said, let's just get on into the video. So I'm going to start off with some makeup products which I've been absolutely loving throughout 2017. So the first thing which I have to show you is a concealer and this is the Collection Last in Perfection Concealer. I've loved this through 2016 and 2017 and honestly I've never really found a concealer that's as good as this and as affordable as this. It's really nice and natural. It can get quite cakey but like if you blend it in quickly it's fine and then like powder afterwards. But honestly I recommend it so much. Mine's in the shade fair one so it's nice and brightening under the eyes and I absolutely love this concealer. The next product which I really recommend is a powder and um, this is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder and it just looks like this. Um, now this isn't the cheapest powder out of the drugstore but this is one of the like only like drugstore powders I've tried but I must say it is honestly so good it works so amazingly well i put it like over my concealer and it just like sits into place all day and it makes my face nice and matte all day and like not shiny it's in the shade 1d slash 1w um golden ivory this product i had to show you is a bronzer now i never normally like wore bronzer um before 2017 so i've recently well not recently like for a year i've definitely been getting into it i mean you can't really tell on camera but if you know me in real life i am fairly pale um so this bronzer definitely warms my face up and it makes it look like a lot more tanned and a lot more like i've been on holiday um and it's the nyc smooth skin um like bronze face powder i bought this back in 2016 and it was sold in superdrug but i haven't seen it anywhere since Pro you'll probably be able to find this online somewhere but i really recommend it the next product i have to show you is a highlighter now so so many people ask me in my videos like oh my god your highlight is popping what highlight do you use and pretty much all of the time it is this wonderful product it is the sleek solstice highlighting palette and can we just take a moment to appreciate the colors which come in this palette, oh my god it keeps like shifting um, can we just like appreciate the colours I love every single one of these colours I love this lilac one, like it looks a bit scary but on your face it's so pretty I have it on today and I absolutely love it so if you want your highlight to be popping for under £10 then I'd really recommend this product because it's only £9.99 and I literally, if I wear highlight I'll definitely be going to this uh, product. The next thing I have is an eye product and this is a mascara and this is from Benefit and it's the Roller Lash Mascara in the shade black. I've got it in the box so I'll get it out to show you guys. This one's a mini but I did get the full size one for Christmas and I'll show you the one quickly. It's like this and it's a bit like curved Um, like looks like that and it makes your lashes so like separated and volumized and lengthened and it is amazing. Moving on to lip products, I have like sort of two different products. One of them is like the same thing. So I'm gonna start with lip gloss. I absolutely love this lip gloss. If you ever see me wear glossy lips in a video, I've most, like, most likely used this Tanya Bear lip gloss in the shade Afternoon Tea. It's so, so nice and it's really natural and it's like a really nice formula. Um, it's not sticky at all. I love the applier, like the applicator thingy, and the packaging. It's gold again, which is absolutely amazing. But only about five pounds, which is absolutely incredible. And I really recommend going to the soup drug and pick up a Tanya Bear lip gloss. The next lip product I have to show you is a matte liquid lipstick collection velvet kiss basically they used to have them called the cream puff so one of them says cream puff but they do have this color in the velvet kiss which is the new like range and these are basically the nicest liquid lipsticks ever i've got like a really nice like brown nude and then i've got like a sort of hot pink which i actually think looks really really nice on and they're only about 2.99 which is so or just chucked it which is so so affordable and i definitely recommend to pick these two up the last like makeup product which i have to show you is a nyx um setting spray by the way i have tinsel up here still because when i'm filming this it's like the beginning of january and i haven't taken my 
um, like decorations done. Uh, this is the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Now I got recommended this by my friend Lily, Lily Rose on YouTube, go subscribe to her cheeky cheeky shout out there. Um, this is so good to like just spray on after you have finished applying your makeup because it sets it into place all day and it keeps it matte all day i don't use this every single day but like if i ever like go out wearing quite a lot of makeup then i always set it into place with this because it is amazing and it's about seven pounds if you're wanting to get a good setting spray i recommend getting this one i also have a lip scrub to show you this is the lush bubblegum lip scrub and um if you don't know what a lip scrub is it's basically like it comes in a pot and I've actually finished it because it is absolutely amazing. It comes in a pot and it's a bit like sugar. I don't know how to describe the consistency, but yeah, I'm not very good at describing things. Basically, you gather a bit of the scrub on your finger and like put it over your lips. And after about like 10 seconds, you just lick it off and it tastes like bubble gum. It's absolutely amazing. I and mean, it leaves your lips feeling so nice and smooth. You can pick this up in Lush, obviously, because it's a Lush lip scrub. Next thing I have to show you is a hand sanitizer or three hand sanitizers. And these are pocket bats and you can get them from Bath and Body Works in America. But personally, I haven't been to America as much as I would love to. So I had to order these online from eBay. The first one is Champagne Sparkle and this one, the packaging is so nice it's got like an eiffel tower and then it's got like pink and purple glitter it smells just like grapes and like fruit and it's absolutely amazing and then the next one is twisted peppermint this is one of their christmas ones and this is their old packaging because i got this last year and it smells so nice i love peppermint scents i don't know if that's weird like to like peppermint scents but it is so good. So if you like minty scents, then I really recommend this one. And then the last one I have, which is again one of my favourites, is a Christmas one from last year, and it's the On Christmas We Wear Pink. And the packaging again for this one is absolutely gorgeous. It smells like sweets, but not like sickly sweets. It's like perfect. So like I really recommend these. The next five things I have to show you are all skincare products. The first four are from Garnier. So the first one is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. As you can see, I've pretty much like finished it. This is like my third bottle of it. It's in the 400 ml and this is just so good for removing your makeup. You just apply a little bit onto a cotton pad and rub it around your face and it gets all of your makeup off and it's just so like hydrating as well like it's so like fresh of this for getting off my makeup it takes it off so quick and easy and the next two skincare items are again from Garnier and they're like matching because they're like from the same same range so the first thing is the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Botanical Toner it smells absolutely divine it smells like roses no offense to like any grannies out there but it's not like a granny rose scent it's like a really sweet like nice rose scent that i think a lot of people like it just gets rid of any like extra makeup which you didn't get to remove with other products and it also like cleanses your face and gets rid of any dirt so 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 good and then matching with that i also have the garnier skin actually see the botanical cleansing milk and again the rose scent a cream sort of like not runny but it's quite thick Rub it around your face and this like removes your makeup and um it really like cleanses your face but also really soothes your face and it is absolutely amazing and i couldn't recommend to get this and the toner and use them together because they work so well i've been using them most days throughout 2017. the last product from garnier is the garnier skin active micellar cleansing gel wash it doesn't look like i've used it a lot but i've used it about 10 to 15 times i don't use face wash much i tend to just do like micellar water and stuff like that but if i do want to like use a face wash then this is the best product to get it smells i know some people don't like the scent but i like it because it's nice like it's a nice fresh scent and it lathers up so nicely on your face it really really wakes you up in the morning i use this before school sometimes and i felt so awake after using it um, and then the last skincare product i have to show you is from mario badescu and this is the mario badescu uh, rose water spray this is the mini one and as you can see i've nearly finished it uh, but i did get the big one for christmas which i forgot to show in my christmas haul basically you just spray this on your face and it's meant to like soothe it and it's so refreshing you can use it to set your makeup into place as well which is really good it's just overall a really good product and i'd really recommend to pick it up if you do get the chance but the last things i have to show you are body sprays so these are all from the brand victoria's secret uh, two of them are from Victoria's Secret Pink and then two of them are from like Victoria's Secret, its own brand. So the first one's the Pink Warm and Cozy. I have Pink Sweet and Flirty. These two are so nice. I especially love this one on a night because it's so like 
cozy vanilla -y. I love it and these two have one in the old and one in the new packaging so this one is mango temptation if you know me i love mango scents so much and this one just smells like mango and it's so good and the other one is pure seduction and this sort of smells like plums and like berries so many sprays out here it's a bit overpowering right now because i've just sprayed so much stuff but it smells so nice. I really recommend all of those sprays. The second to last thing I have to show you is a shower gel from Lush. And this is the Snow Fairy Shower Gel. 250 grams. I did use to have um, the another one of these from last Christmas. But I've actually used it all up because I love it so much. And if you don't know the Snow Fairy scent from Lush, it's so good. It's like, it's one of the most popular scents. And I've never used this one because I only just ran out of my last one. And I got this in the Boxing Day sale. It smells like candy and sweets. And it is so good, like you need to smell this. It just creates loads of bubbles in your bath, that's mainly what I use it for. And then the last thing, well I have one tiny thing to show you at the end, but the last thing is fluffy socks. I know it's a bit random, but recently, well not recently, like, well especially when it gets colder on a night, I always wear fluffy socks, especially the ones from Primark because they're so good, so affordable and so fluffy. And I just love fluffy socks. They're about two pound or something for a pack of two. And my last favourite of 2017 is a show on Netflix. So this show is Jane the Virgin. I think I started watching it two weeks ago. And you know, you're probably like, well, it's not really a 2017 favourite. It's more like a December favourite. But this is definitely my favourite all-time Netflix series I've ever watched before. So it's definitely my overall 2017 favourite show. Yeah, it's on Netflix and I'm not going to like spoil it and tell you what it's about, but it's honestly the best thing. So I really, really recommend you go and watch Jane the Virgin if you're looking for something new to watch on Netflix because it is the best show you will ever watch. Especially recommended for girls that are like teenage, like, probably like age 12 to like 18. I don't know. It's absolutely incredible that is all of my favorites for the year of 2017 i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video give it a massive thumbs up let's try and reach 200 thumbs up because that would be absolutely amazing and i will see you guys next week bye